Dude, Alex, Alex, have you seen the new yeah, Nintendo Switch Direct? No, I haven't. What's up? You haven't seen it, bro, bro. They, they literally just accidentally leaked a new copy of the new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Plus Pro Max Edition Elite Gamer. Have you not heard about this? No, I haven't. Dude, okay, okay, dude, we gotta get on. I'm, 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 I'm on, I'm on. I'm Yo, I haven't seen a Game Boy before, but I already know I'm gonna whip you, alright? Dude! Oh god, the new menu looks oh, sick! They really improved the graphics of this game. I know, man. Like, the maps are huge. Okay, okay. I already know. I got- I gotta go for Switzerland. Alright. Okay, okay. Alright, what, what, what are you uh, choosing? Are you I'm choosing? doing- I'm doing... Ukraine. Power to Ukraine. Okay, okay. Yeah. Bet. Bet. Should I do yellow for Ukraine, actually? Yeah, okay, I was just on. thinking that. Let's see, is this yellow disgusting? Ah! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I found a better color for Ukraine. Alright, so the way that I think the rules of this right here, let me just pull up the manual real quickly. Member countries of the European Division will win only when they receive five assets. Each member country will get one starting asset. Taking over a country counts as an asset. And failing an attack on another member of the European Division will result in the emancipation of your army for two rounds before they can reconvene. You must have at least four assets to invade a player country, and novel AI's rhetoric is open to interpretation by the players. Okay. Um, it's pretty simple. Who are you? Alright, let's, yeah, let's go to the novel AI real quickly so I can see where this okay. thing is gonna head. Okay. Alright, so, uh, I think the name of this map is, uh, Europe, last time I checked. Um, it's very sad and cold. <clears throat> the year is 1200. The Lucky Empire is founded in Switzerland. The President Miles has an aspiration to one day control all of Europe because, in Miles' opinion, more is more. He has 10,000 swordsmen, and their largest asset at the moment is copious amounts of money. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian utopia has risen in Ukraine. The Emperor Alex has a burning desire to conquer all of Europe because he had to do it for the vow. He has 10,000 swordsmen, and their largest asset is Frosted Flake cereal. As this new era of violence and expansion begins, the Lucky Empire makes their move. Okay, I am going first, and I think um, I want to buy France. I France? Yeah. Okay. What okay. Then, bro? President Miles of the Lucky Empire in Switzerland visits a French monarch asking if he can permanently borrow the nation of France for $10 million. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, All right. we win these. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, we win these. What are you doing, Poland? The King of France. Henry the Fourth agrees under the condition that Miles makes him back on time. Miles thinks nothing of this as he's been doing business with the king for years. <laughs> All right, that is asset number two. Oh boy. Random, just like just just <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we'll, we'll do it every round because I think it's only fair if the randomness is the same. Because you haven't gone yet, so I don't think it's yeah. fair if we turn up the randomness yeah, right. to a billion. Okay. Or is it blue? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Why? Okay. You know, you can run into the same relations! Wait. What? <laughs> Bro, no, wait. You just went, thanks for the cereal. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> they have to defeat the Greeks, so you could maybe try to help them out with that endeavor. <laughs> Alex and his Ukrainian number are not very Okay. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay. Okay. I endorse Brexit, crippling the stability. What's Brexit? Ready? Uh, you don't know what Brexit is? No, I don't. What's Brexit? Uh, Alex? I'll look it up. I don't. I don't. I don't get why. Oh this my is. god! Oh Brexit. my god! No, let's see it. Full send. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he has the leader of Britain for money, and when told no, he sends his men to attack England. After killing millions of Englishmen, he decides that Britain must be conquered because more is more. Yo, it's a callback! Alex of Ukraine goes to war with peace in order to claim it. Okay. 
This has got to be it. That's got to be it. It's got, and then it's not going to be it. Oh, yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We don't know! Okay, you gotta send it again. You just got just press send. Just press send again. Just, just press send? Okay, we'll, we'll just continue. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. He's going to begin to chant more over and over again. The president's voice is heard echoing throughout the battlefield, yelling out commands like, Hit him hard! And kill those bastards! <laughs> more! Keep going! Keep going! Okay. You don't know the result. Is that a problem? Oh, you're aggressive, man. <laughs> President Ma stands there before what seems like hours holding the ridiculous pose and making these absurd demands of his men until finally the battle between the armies comes to a halt. What happened? <laughs> yeah! Hey, hey, hold on, wait, hold on. I feel like that's a little. I feel like you're influencing that because you asked. Uh, hmm. Dick's notice of their battle cry and quickly makes his way to where the battle took place. When he arrives, he sees his nation being invaded by the Lucky Empire, and he begins to panic. He runs into the battlefield, screaming out orders like, Get back here, you fucks! The Lucky Empire now owns and controls the United Kingdom. Now you have three assets, right? Yes, sir. Let me write it down on my oh, sticky you're note. Be lucky with your assets. It's working out pretty well for you. I'm be lucky. Better. Also, I you've only had like a couple of turns. Are right, you tell her you didn't kill me? Okay, dokey. That's uh, mine now. Oh, wait, that's part of Norway. Oh my God, it's so far out. <laughs> All right. It's what do you get? Oh no. <laughs> Okie dokie, Alex, it is now your turn to, I don't know, go yourself. That's not very nice. So, I want to ask the Moldova, Moldovan ruler if if he wants to go and invade Greece with me. <laughs> I don't want to take a bet out on it. Alright, is that good? Send it, send it, yeah. Okay. Alex tells Moldova that once they defeat the Greek army, they will, they will receive $3 billion of the Ukrainian utopia's money. Moldova agrees to helping Alex invade Greece under the condition that Alex gives them one billion dollars of money to help in their own defense. Okay, so yeah, they said yes. Okay, great. I have taken control of the United Kingdom, France. What is next for me? Wait, does it count if I take Liechtenstein? Yeah. <laughs> the big value because Liechtenstein is a little, a little small. Yeah, but maybe in this universe, it's really quite the large army. I thought we were going off the... <laughs> yeah. What? what like but it doesn't know that. I don't know. Okay. No, you're right. It doesn't know. I'll make it know. <laughs> <laughs> you, just can't, you can't just go like, oh, they're really weak. <laughs> There's like two people in there. No way we lose it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the big value, big value? <laughs> Am I deleting this? Oh, this, this is not value. This, this is not fair. <laughs> okay. Alright, Alex, it is your turn and you need to pick it up. What do you do? Why does this keep happening? I don't want Kazakhstan. Oh, you don't want no Kazakhstan? Oh. Yes! Oh. oh, conquer Russia! Let's go. Okay, delete oh. your thing. Delete your thing, but yeah. Okay. Uh, that, okay, I have Greece now. Okay. And Moldova. Now I have Moldova because that was part of the agreement, right? Okay. So, oh, two, two for one. Two for one. Two for one. Right. Moldova okay. And so you went from one point to three points. I currently have four points right now, which means I can invade you. Yeah. Um, do you want to make it like a little bit longer? Cause like. Yeah. To five points it is. <laughs> uh, I got these bad boy tanks right now, so I'm sure I can do something with that. Alright. <laughs> President Miles says the United Kingdom, the 360 no scope, the war of Liechtenstein, while um roller <laughs> blading down the street. Oh my okay. god. Is that good? Value? Is this what you want? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what to think. 
That's it. That's that's the endurance. No, wait, wait, come on. Can can we push this line? Can I say like, do it for the sure, vibe? Yeah. The United Kingdom decides to accept President Miles' challenge. They pick up the rollerblades and follow President Miles. When President Miles gets to Lichtenstein, he sees a large crowd gathered. He asks, "What's going on?" An American man standing in front of the crowd yells out, No one in Liechtenstein wants you here! President Miles is upset. He was looking forward to the victory. The next thing that he knows, he's surrounded by angry people screaming, You're not welcome here! President Miles looks around, and he notices that the US flag is proudly flying overhead. He asks, What the frick is the United States doing? Why isn't anyone protesting these Americans? A tall man wearing a hat with the word hat written across the top, walks up to President Miles and says that the United States has taken control of the country of Lichtenstein. Why would anyone do that? Why would anyone take over Lichtenstein? That man <laughs> explains that the United States took control of the government in order to defend the citizens of Lichtenstein from being invaded by the lucky empire. I'm so lost. President Miles looks at the hat and asks the hat man if he's wearing the hat. <laughs> The hat man says yes and adds that everyone else is too. President Miles then asks the hat man if he has a shirt with the words hat written on it. The hat man replies that he doesn't. President Miles is the man that he needs to go change his shirt because he has no idea what he's talking about. The hat man yells back when you pull your shirt off. It's going pretty well so far. The hat man grabs President Miles by the neck, throws him into a nearby bush, and then continues his speech. But the Empire has stolen our lands, killed thousands of us, and now they want to invade Russia. But we won't let them because we are hatmen. Um. <laughs> okay. We are the people who care enough to put on hats, and the hat we wear is the name of our organization, the Hatman Assembly. We are the ones who protest the Lucky Empire, and we are the ones who have stopped this invasion. I can't speak anymore. Do we, do we just leave? Uh, yeah, just say, uh, yeah. Unlucky turn, to be honest. Alright. Let's... Okay, so... That was a turn, alright. Hello, we'll make... The red will be America now. Lichtenstein is owned uh, okay, by so America. Okay, so now we have a... <laughs> now we have a third party. We have a third country now. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting cleaned up. I'm getting janitored right now. Alright, so... Go back to Novaya. Okay. I get my scientists to research uh, a technology, and the technology, what it is, is it's Splatoon 3, but anyone who plays it gets brainwashed, okay? Okay. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Yo. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Soldiers! Soldiers! Play Splatoon 3! Well, you gotta play Splatoon 3, I swear to god! So, apparently now, or at war. And you know what? Cool. Let's get this over with, alright? Alright. Oh, yo! Oh! oh. I've got countless hours of like <laughs> the UK and yeah, the Utopians find themselves with more and more powerful yeah. weapons. However, these weapons have become so powerful that the Ukrainians no longer feel the need to kill anyone anymore. Oh, okay. The Lucky Empire sees this as a problem because they want to continue conquering Europe and killing everyone. I think it's my turn here. Yeah. Resident Lucky and his soldiers breach into the lines of the Ukrainian Utopia mow down the leader Emperor Alex with their newly discovered tanks. Yeah, you're in front now, Alex. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Before President Lucky can reach Alex, the Ukrainian army shoots up his tanks. Yeah. Emperor oh. Alex is injured, but still able to see his that his enemy President Miles coming towards him. He shouts out that he isn't afraid to die, and continues to shoot his guns at Miles until he finally collapses to the ground and dies! <laughs> Oh, 
After returning to his own country, <laughs> President Mao says that he's forgotten to pay back the King of France for borrowing his country. In order to avoid paying his debt, Mao goes to the King of France and has to borrow. That's such a Chad move. <laughs> That's the most Chad move I've ever seen. No, that's good. That's you good. owe me money. I can add some more money so I can pay you. <laughs>the citizens of the Ukrainian utopia pray together. The Emperor Alex descends from the kingdom of heaven back down to the mortal plane to guide them in their dark ways. Emperor Alex of the Ukrainian utopia finds himself in hell. Yeah, he screams at his creator God telling God that he should have stopped her from creating <laughs> Emperor Alex then says that there must be a way to return to the mortal plane. God tells Emperor Alex that he's created a portal which could allow Emperor Alex to return to Earth. But only if Emperor Alex kills the god of war. Zeus. Emperor Alex accepts his task and back to Earth. Let's you go. How did he kill a god of Zeus? Skill issue. What, he movement that? Oh, I, lo I love how the Splatoon 3 thing has gone so far. Yeah. As for the lucky empire, let's see what's next on the agenda. President Miles invites the ruler of Luxembourg to watch Paddington 2. And if the ruler of Luxembourg accepts this request, then the lucky empire will buy <laughs> Luxembourg for a Big Mac. I'll, I'll be different. Yes! Let's go! The ruler of Luxembourg accepts the invitation and joins President Miles for Paddington 2. During the movie, President Miles asks the ruler of Luxembourg how much gold is in Luxembourg. The ruler of Luxembourg tells Miles there is no gold in Luxembourg. I think it thinks that I'm really greedy. I've been getting a lot of that here. Well, it's your turn now. So I'm, I'm back, right? I'm back. Yes, but you still can't conduct any aggressive engagements. Okay, can't so go, go back. You know, I'll type it. I think it'll be fine. Okay. You're gonna type it and then you're gonna copy it yes. to me? Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. Joins up all of his citizens. Together they host a musical house. <laughs> The musical features songs such as Dear Alex, I'm sorry, but you have to die. I don't want you to go, but I understand. Wait, can we keep going? Come on, I gotta see the musical. You're not welcome here. Please stay for the Ukrainian Utopians also perform a special dance number called I Hope You Get Brainwashed. And for Alex of the Ukrainian Utopia arrives at the party and sees that all of the citizens are singing and dancing while waving their arms around. He starts to wonder if something terrible has happened to them because they appear to be happy fun. <laughs> Emperor Alex then notices all the blood running down their faces. He smiles and thinks to himself that that means they are enjoying their lives. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? 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 Why? Okay, let me just recap. So, they start singing the musical number with some very suspicious songs. Then I arrive, or the emperor, I guess me, arrive, and they're all having fun. <laughs> I'm like, that's suspicious. <laughs> and I line up fun. And then there's blood, and he's like, ah, that's fine. Or are they just like dancing too hard and they're blooding? They're, they're bloody. Blood. <laughs> Is that what's happening here? After Emperor Alex watches the musical, he wonders if there's any way he could destroy mankind so he can rule over them. He then remembers he has a device that allows him to travel. What? No, that's that's not. Wait, no, that's not. Okay, I have an idea. This is gonna be us awesome. telling them that the emperor that emperor Alex and ironically listen to some Nautica OST and that he should be executed for his actions. So you should get going a little bit and whip his cheeks. <laughs> Alright, uh, 
Come on, Alex, let's pick you up real hard. God dang it. Okay. Emperor Alex of the Ukrainian Utopia asks for the Romanian queen's hand in marriage. Marriage and to <laughs> join the empire. If she refuses, he will attack Romania. Queen of Romania accepts Emperor's Alex proposal. Emperor Alex and Queen of Romania have a wedding ceremony at the palace. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm married. Let's go, married pug. And Romania is mine. And and mine. Give Romania to me. Ah, uh, okay. President Lucky sends a gift, a hidden surprise to the Emperor Alex. It's a giant wooden horse filled with soldiers that will come out at night to assassinate Emperor Alex and take the throne. I am very original. Thank you so much. Boo. This is boo. Like, what is this? That's no, like, shut up. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not. <laughs> come on. That's, um, that, that's pretty. It. I just hope my people are smart enough not to accept it. Ever Alex turns the wooden horse into a giant army of horses and rides them through the city, causing mass chaos and confusion. <laughs> Emperor Alex then sends some messages to Moldova asking if they want to join the Lucky Empire. That's not how that works, man. Um, can, I, can we redo that? Because I think it's. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't Lucky of the Lucky Empire sends a giant wooden horse to. The gates of Emperor Alex's gate. Inside the wooden horse are <laughs> tanks ready, ready to kill Emperor Emperor Alex. All right, please do it. Emperor Alex prefers to fight the Lucky Empire. He saw through my wooden horse. But the Lucky Empire is victorious. Emperor Alex falls on the back of the tank during the battle and dies on the ground. And his body gets fed to the pigs. Wait, can we continue? Because what? Because I'm dead, but do you, you win? But, so do you get the all of it or just punch it? Emperor Alex <laughs> and the He's resurrected by God in hell. He screams at God because he made him create Splatoon 3. He tells God that he has already been punished enough since he died in a horrible way. Okay, yeah. Keep going. Oh my God. Emperor Alex wants to live a long life in peace. Emperor Alex says that he never wanted to rule over anyone. He just wanted to have fun. Emperor Alex then says that he hates Splatoon 3, but he can't stop listening to it. Get rid of him! Get rid of him! Ship him! Deport him! <laughs> Emperor Alex as well why he's given him such bad luck. Oh, that's so accurate! God tells Emperor Alex that he has brought death upon all of humanity. Emperor Alex tells God that he has done nothing of the sort. Emperor Alex then says that he is not evil and asks God to remove him from hell. The lucky Empire continues out there. Wait, so do you win? Is that the I think I'm taking over your country, so let me just go bop, 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 I have so many bop. good ideas, though. Oh, man. And now the only thing left to deal with is America. Epilogue, epilogue. Okay, so epilogue. President Lucky invades Liechtenstein. Invades Liechtenstein with the hog riders he in oh. invented. Oh, wait. I, okay, I lost, but I have a secret weapon. Okay. He then opens a secret weapon. It's a box. Inside the box is a tiny little bomb. President Miles removes the bomb from the box, puts it on his head, and then says, I am the god of war. The, the bomb explodes. President Miles is blown into the sky, leaving a trail of fire behind him. The people of Liechtenstein look up and smile. The people of Liechtenstein thank God for sending President Miles to say. The end. Bro, no one won Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein wins. Man, frick Liechtenstein.